black folks is in an abusive black leadership relationship. We have to send a message. This, this is the time for us to send a message. We're always talking about what the Republicans ain't done for us or what they will do to hurt us. My life has been hurt by Democrats. And we got in our mind that we always got to keep voting Democrat. You know, look and see in your community. Who are the real oppressors in our community? There's a black on black crime in down in City Hall. There's a black on black crime down in, the, in, in all the state capitals in America where black folks are voting against our interests, where black folks are voting and making us, we're getting poor and poor, and other groups are getting richer and richer. All right, folks, uh, joining us now is uh, Paul McKinley, member of Voices of the Ex-Offender. And uh, Paul, this, uh, this uh, viral video about uh, blacks turning against uh, the Democrats and President Obama uh, has, has become just that, viral. And let me ask you, um, why is it, though, that, that blacks uh, vote so overwhelmingly for, for Democrats? In 1967, Lyndon Bain Johnson uh, resigned from the Democratic Party. But before he resigned, he signed the 1965 and the 1964 Civil Rights Act. It made it appear that the Democrats were black folks' friends. And since 1967, all the way up to now, black folks have been voting for the Democratic Party. With, and, and if you look at our community, our community has got seven times worse than it ever been. We're at the lowest state that we've ever been in the history of being, other than being in slavery. We ain't never been this messed up before. And I, have, and I, and I know why we're messed up. Well, because we have a group that's ruling over us that have a degenerate and perverse idea of what America is. They're called neoliberalism. That's their philosophy. Well, you know, I, I, there's all, I've talked to so many black conservatives and said, and, and to Republicans and said, you know, why can't you get your message through? And, and, and I still wish they could, but it's more difficult. But guys like you, who are not Republicans or conservatives traditionally, um, why can't you guys uh, and people like you get the message through? Why, why can't it resonate? Or is it resonating now more than ever, do you believe? Most of the young people feel that the president, Barack Obama, is a dead leader. Most of the young people in my community feel that in a community that absolutely nothing has changed. And every time they question uh, the president about the black community, he's apologetic or he's embarrassed. Why, half the time, I would say 97% of the time, he don't even want to say that there even exists a black community. So a lot of the young people are seeing this, this uh, double standard that the president has. And the reason why the, the, the guys like your Alan Wesses, your, your uh, different guys in that category, uh, they always accuse them of being sellouts in Uncle Tom. Right, right. That, that's how they attack. But when it comes to guys like us, they can't call us sellouts. Because we've been fighting against the machine up here in Chicago from day one. You see, in the city of Chicago, we don't have two parties. We have one party. In the city of Chicago, there are two black communities, separate and unequal. There's the black community that is with the Democratic Party. And they're not white and they're not black. They're part of the machine. I don't even like to call it the Democratic Party. I like to call it the machine, which has all the tentacles of a socialist, pathological, insane organization that rules over our people. And it's, it's very narcissistic. I'm talking about this organization that rules over us. All right, Paul. So, it's Paul, Paul, let me ask all you. And all knowing. Let me ask you this. We only have about a minute left. Will, will, when will this effort... M m have real results? When will you, we start seeing the black vote branch off from the Democratic Party? Well, like I said, when the, when the Republican Party 
stop. Well, I'm not going to say the Republican. When, when the Republican, when people who are in the Republican Party, like the Tea Party, overthrow those rhinos who are blocking the Republican Party from doing outreach to the real legitimate grassroots organization. You see, the Republican, the rhinos are doing outreach to the end of. All right, Paul, Paul, who, do you, who would you like to meet with in the Republican Party or the RNC? Give me a name. Uh, Rand Paul. You want to meet with Rand Paul? Okay. How about how about Reince Priebus, the head of the RNC? You want to meet with him? I wouldn't meet him, and I would like him to meet the grassroots and not meet the blue. All right, I'll set. I'll try to set that up. Paul McKinley, I thank you. Ahead, former CEO of Hewlett Packard, Carly Fiorina.